Oh, hey, this is me again, Andre. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, The Ski Zone. So, and today, we, what we're gonna be doing today in the heat zone segment is cooking up a London boiled chunk roast. All right, so come along the ride with me and enjoy this, guys. Let's go. This meat is pretty thick, okay? as you can see, it's pretty thick. So, cooking it on the stove top, that's what I'll be doing. All right, but because it's so thick, I'll have to finish it off in the oven. You know? So, come along with me into the heat zone, you guys will see for yourselves. All right, so, I'll dry it up. So, what I'm doing now is just get the seasoning. So, I'll start with Salt. I'm gonna put like a generous amount. Still wet, so kind of thick up my hands. But. Okay. Next, black pepper. I will just shake some, as you can see. You guys can see for yourselves how much I'll use. It's, I normally just eyeball it. All right. Turn it around. Okay, more black pepper, both sides.
Okay guys, so what we're going to do at this point is have it cook evenly on both sides. So right now, the first part of this fry is going to cook for about 5 to 8 minutes, right? Then after we want to add our uh, rosemary, our butter, and then flip over again. Let that side cook evenly, flip it again, let that side cook for about 5 to 8 minutes and so on until we get a proper sear. Keep watching, you guys will see this out. Alright, so while the beat is searing, I'll add water. Now what the butter is going to do is want to add out, uh, increase the flavor while the meat is searing. The butter will also help with the uh, basting of the meat when we turn over. All right, so now that the butter is all caramelized, we're going to try to put this thing over. It was a little struggle, but we got it. As you can see, it's nice and brown in color. That's all of that flavor. The heat so. Now we're going to take our time and baste in the, the top of the meat with the caramelized butter and the olive oil. All right, so right here we're going to add our rosemary. Uh, the reason for the rosemary is because of the flavor. It adds a flavor to the um, to the basin. So as, we're, as as you can see, I'm basing the, the meat with the aroma of the butter, salt, pepper, and uh, rosemary. Look at that. Ooh, for that flavor. Eat some. At this point, I want to add more butter to help with the basting of the steak. Now, what you want to do now is just get the juices all over the top of that meat. Get the aroma going, get the flavors rolling.
at this point you want to add some slice of garlic help with the flavor I think I just added one, one clove of garlic So what you want to do is just keep on basing it, all that heat, make sure you get all that heat all over that steak. Put the juices back in the meat. 